Next to go, one of the youngest in the field, 22 years of age, it is Martin Mineras with Ecuador. Don't confuse the horse's name with the country he represents. He's representing Portugal and the 13-year-old Lusitana Gelding will be our next into the arena. Now, this is a, one of those stories and I love it. The fact that he has ridden this horse. Uh, he rode this horse at the Senior European Championships last year in Hagen and his first World Championships here. He rode this horse at junior level at the Europeans, at young rider level at the Europeans, at senior level at the Europeans, and now at a World Championship. I mean, it's such an amazing story. That's awesome, isn't it? It really is. Very cool. And the youngest male in the field. We had the youngest female yesterday, but 22 years old. I mean, they can still ride in under 25s. Yeah. Uh, coming to a World Championship, fantastic. We had the young Indian guy yesterday as well, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. When, when, when I was in, yeah. yeah. And just great to see these young riders out here amongst the seniors getting that experience. And ha I, I know we said it yesterday, but having that experience at the young rider and the junior Europeans will definitely help them coming into something like this World Championships. And Martin, on the, on the team for Portugal as well, which is a, a huge honour, and riding at those championships last year, in uh, Hagen with Ecuador and he was on the team there and he's ridden pretty much on every team since his uh, first appearance back in 2015 at the Junior European Championships. He's had quite a career then hasn't he? And as a partnership. Yes, which is lovely isn't it? They've really come up through the ranks together and of course we saw uh, Catherine with Cassidy do that as well and just look to see what they achieved together which was amazing and he's retiring here isn't he that's going to be emotional yeah I'm not watching we're going to um, need our tissues uh, yeah I'm not watching that it, it's after um, I think it's after the Grand Prix special tomorrow um, and it, it will be, be very emotional I mean as regards Cassidy has been an amazing horse for um, Catherine and he will be retiring here. I, I cry at the top of a hat, so oh, I'm, me I'm too. hopeless. Me too. <laughs> just losing the fluency in the rain back there, just not off of the rider's aids coming back forward into the collected trot. Better in that extended trot. The first one was a little bit hurried maybe, but, uh, but I thought that one was a lot more fluent. Lovely transition out from the PF, back into the passage. It was a little bit traveling in the PF itself just having a few issues with an open mouth there as well from the PF into the passage before this walk. It's so nice to see, we, we also touched on it yesterday, but from the likes of the last horse that we, we saw in the arena in uh, Sir Stanley, and then we go to Ecuador, this grey stallion, all shapes and sizes, and, and that is what is so lovely about the sport. Yeah. Yeah. Dressage doesn't discriminate. No, it doesn't. And we've got, you know, and, and one of the only sports where male and females compete as equals yep. um, in the sport of dressage, jumping, eventing, para um, disciplines as well. And, you know, the Lusitanas and the Prees, we're seeing more and more of them out there. We just saw their, uh, the Brazilian rider in uh, Chao. Oliva, and he, you know, is, is bringing those horses out, and I think they're great. I mean, they're, you know, they're lovely to watch. They are really, really lovely to watch, and it's nice to see the heritage of the country coming through as yeah. well.
correct two time changes. Could have had a bit more ground cover, but nice and straight on the, the diagonal line. Oh, I thought there'd be a bit more extended canter there. Just lacked a bit of jump, was just a bit flat, I think. There, I was, uh, I was thinking a nice big open extended canter. Better suppleness over the, the back there in the canter half passes. and straight. Again, a bit flat there in that canter pirouette. the jump now again just a bit flat there nice and small but lost the rhythm Just see the horse opening his mouth and playing with a bit of little better here. And again, just some issues with the mouth. bit of swaying in the PF and into the halt. But here is the score for Martin Menerez and Ecuador 69.053. A very good score for the Portuguese team.